Prince Harry and Meghan Markle must stop playing the victim card if they are to salvage what's left of their brand, the founder and CEO of a US-based PR firm tells Daily Express US. The reality check comes at a turbulent time for Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex. The couple's multi-year partnership deal with Spotify worth $20 million has collapsed and there are reports Hollywood is keeping them at arm's length in a bid to stay in the royal family's good books. Amid the maelstrom, it would be wise for the couple to consider how they might have contributed to their own demise, says Erin Nierman, founder and CEO of Crisis PR firm Red Banyan and author of The Cancel Culture Curse. Read more Meghan Markle no longer bosom buddies with George Clooney in Hollywood split Harry and Meghan's current branding crisis stems from the negativity they have centered their public persona around in recent years, he explained. Mr. Nierman went on, they have been fixated on becoming global icons and playing up their victimhood, which is not a sustainable narrative, while they are simultaneously parlaying it into lucrative business deals and reshaping the way people view the royal family. The PR founder added, there comes a point when you are no longer the victim. Although Americans initially sympathized with their plight, Harry and Meghan have fared badly in polls this year. The couple's change in fortunes appeared to follow the release of the Duke's tell-all memoir, Spare, in January. Harry and Meghan's popularity in America nosedived in the first quarter of 2023, according to pollster YouGov. The Duke of Sussex was liked by 52% of Americans in the fourth quarter of 2022 but this dropped to 46% in the first quarter of 2023, when he was also disliked by 26%. Likewise, Meghan was liked by 38% in the final quarter of 2022, dropping to 36% in the first quarter of this year when she was also disliked by 24%. Don't miss. Meghan and Harry in frustrating period as Hollywood strikes could halt project, exclusive, Harry and Meghan being frozen out by Hollywood elite due to money fears, Hollywood split, and this downward trend has continued into the summer months, providing ample evidence that Americans have grown weary of their attempts to expose the inner workings of the royal family. Potential business partners are going to be hesitant to work with them for some time, Mr. Nierman claimed. He reckons Spotify executive and popular podcast host Bill Simmons labeling Harry and Meghan as grifters after they parted ways with the streaming service will have left a particularly bad taste in their mouths. And there is going to be a concern that they won't necessarily deliver on their engagements or that the relationship will sour, he added. If they are willing to talk so negatively about their family, what would they be willing to say about their business partners? How Harry and Meghan can improve their lot Mr. Nearman advises Harry and Meghan to stop playing the victim card and begin defining themselves by something other than the alleged injustice they faced a narrative many people are over or did not buy from the get-go. While it will be hard to immediately cut the cord and distance themselves from the royals-related drama they have been stirring, they should invest more time and effort in making the narrative about other people and worthy causes they are involved in, to change the focus of the attention they receive, he said. The PR CEO added, they should also make sure to follow through on any commitments from business deals, and get the word out when they have done so. A very good move would be looking for others to attest to them being good partners, which would go a long way, 